All righty, we are back in Deadwood, visiting with probably you're becoming one of the busiest guys around town, Bobby Rock, manager of the Outlaw Square and soon to have the grand opening. Yeah, it has been uh, quite the journey, I'll tell you that right now. And uh, our grand opening is scheduled for December 6th is when we're going to do it. We've got dignitaries that are going to be here and we're going to get everything up and running that day. Even the ice will be here by then. Hopefully our fingers are crossed on that. <laughs> our ice has been kind of a little bit of a journey for us. Um, it was supposed to be here a couple weeks ago and we found out there was a little bit of a uh, work stoppage in Barcelona. Barcelona. It, it's coming from Switzerland, so uh, it put a bit of a delay, but yesterday we got notification that it had arrived in New York City, and it was going through customs, and it was going to be put on truck transport and brought to the Black Hills, so we're pretty excited about that. Cool. Of course, lots of things going on that day with the grand opening, and who, who are the dignitaries? Uh, well, Governor Dugard, uh, former Governor Dugard, is going to be joining us along with his wife, uh, uh, Jim Hagen from South Dakota Tourism is going to be here, mm -hmm. along with the mayor and other people from around here. And uh, invitations have been sent out to the governor and lieutenant governor to join us also. So um, we're looking forward to everybody showing up. And of course, it is also, it's not only the grand opening, but it's the community Christmas tree lighting ceremony that's going to be take pl taking place. We've got a big, huge tree that's going in right in the front side between the gazebo yep. and um, the Outlaw Square gallows area. It's going to be a beautiful tree and it's going to be all lit up. Lit up. All right, and uh, what all is, is going? What else? There's going to be ice skating, all kinds of things that day. Ice skating. Uh, if the ice is in, we'll have ice skating that day. We'll have uh, holiday treats and s'mores. We've got our fire pits that'll be out. Um, we're also going to have, I think we're going to have some carolers there too. We're planning on doing that. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a fun day uh, for the family to come down and join us. The events, uh, Christmas tree lighting ceremony takes place at 515. And of course, you can't light the Christmas tree without Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is going to be here at 530. Is that Lee Harstead or who? Oh, no, it's not Lee. It's, it's somebody Santa Claus. Coming. It's Santa Claus is coming down to join us. So uh, that gets us going. We're going to kick off our season uh, with the uh, opening of the square that day. Um, we're also going to be going into the following weekend is our Chris Kringle's Christmas Market that's going to be taking place. Right on Deadwood Street, we'll have 20 vendors set up. You can come down and enjoy some holiday shopping on Deadwood Street and also Main Street. And also we've got... Um, Carolers are going to be taking place on Saturday. Bands are going to be performing. Choirs are going to be performing. Santa Claus is going to come back and join us on those on Saturday also. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, he'll be around. So that's going to take place on Friday the 13th from 5 until 8 and Saturday from 10 until 6. Yeah, sounds good. Of course, stuff right on through the Christmas season. Oh, yes. Into the Christmas season, a lot of ice skating, a lot of things going on. Uh, we've got a great group that's gotten together, and we're going to light up the square. They're going to spend time next week decorating the square with Christmas tree lights going up all over the place. And then, of course, there's a uh, we've encouraged Main Street to decorate also to be part of that. And also... Uh, Deadwood wide. We want people to light up the town. Um, it's going to be a great Christmas holiday season. We've got a great holiday promotion coming up for that Christmas lighting uh, season that's going to be taking place. So lots of things going on here in Deadwood with the grand opening of Outlaw Square on December 6th. And Bobby, looking past December into next year, you've got Lots of events planned throughout the whole year. Oh, yeah. We've got about 250 days or more of programming that's scheduled in January. We get into the uh, canine keg pull as part of the snow cross. That's taking place right on Daywood Street. We're going to have dogs pulling kegs, empty kegs, that is. But it's going to be a lot of fun with that. And then it gets going into February, March. Uh, ice skating will go into March. We'll see how far we take that into there. But um, And then we start getting into our summer season. Um, right now, we are one of the top 25. We made the top 25 for the Levitt um, Amp grant that they're putting out, a $25,000 matching grant for our summer concert series, which the beautiful Deadwood Mountain Grand, thanks to them, they are the sponsors of our Deadwood of our summer concert series. So uh, we are going to get some help from them, and we get this grant. It's going to be a, a great summer with music right there yeah. in the square. So uh, Mondays will be our movie nights. We'll have Vast that's sponsoring that. Tuesday is going to be our Farmer's Market. Uh, Wednesday is the concert series. Thursday is our Deadwood History Family Fun Night. So, And then weekends are going to be event weekends. So lots going on here in Deadwood, all surrounded and centered at the Outlaw Square. And people can always say, you got a website people can go to? Yep, you just go to outlawsquare.com. Okay. All right, Bobby Rock, appreciate the visit. All right, thank you much, guys.